Welcome to Field and Royal Life magazine. Here we are joined by Nikki Jess at the Royal Bath and West Show. Nikki, great pleasure to be here today with you. Um, what's it taken in order to be ready to present at a show like this today? A lot of hard work. Yeah, I can imagine. When's the sort of uh, preparation season begin, ready for the showing? Christmas time you're thinking about feeding them and selecting these sheep. Uh, a week ago it was bath time for all the sheep, yeah. keeping them clean and then six hours of sheep carding them up and clipping ready for today. Do you, do you have a, like a, a large selection of sheep and then you just hand pick four or five or? Yeah, well I've only got uh, 20 ewes now. Right. So Pick, pick the best and off you go. Yeah. Uh, and where are you for the rest of the rest of the summer? We've got New Forest next, and then Shaftesbury and Gillingham, Malplash and Dorchester County show the finish. So in order for uh, preparation for the New Forest and, and the Malplash show, um, is there much preparation at work left for that, or is the majority of it done for the start of the season? We'll probably go home now and pick some other stock yeah. out um, to take. Uh, obviously, you're looking what the judge likes. Yeah show may be different so you have to find something else at home. And you're you looking forward to showing today, you feeling confident about today's show? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully so. <laughs> well all the best for today's show and I hope things go well for you and Thank we'll you. see you later on. Thank, Thank you very much. Welcome to Field and Rural Life magazine. Here we are today joined by Louise. Louise, pleasure to meet you. Um, can you just explain the difference about Beltex and Dorset Horn and Poles? Right, okay. Um, I actually keep both of them as right. well, so I, um, you know, we've, we've got the differences here. As you see with the pole dorsets, one their look is completely different to the Beltexes. Yeah. Beltex has been introduced into, uh, into Britain about 20 years ago. They're actually a Belgian texel. Right. And they are, as in Belgian blues, they are a double muscle version of a sheep. So they have a set of muscles with another muscle over the top. They are purely bred for their meat only. Okay. So not really any wool, and you can see for the one at the front here, it's not really got very much wool really, it's yeah. all muscle. So they tend to be bred for a short neck, uh, fairly extensive large shoulders, and also the back end as well. So. Okay, and I'm presuming obviously you brought these here today to show. Yes. Um, and how did you go on with the showing of them this morning? Please, they don't have their own class. Right. So other continental, um, but we got a uh, reserve breed champion uh, against other breeds, so right. we're really, really pleased. Yeah. Excellent, so it's been a good, been a good day for yeah, you. Absolutely. What about your Dorset Horns? Have you shown those? How yes, do you get them with those? Um, we got the, we won the group, and we've actually got the horn variety rather right. than the poles. Right. So we won the group with those, and we've also come high in the in the awards with the ewe lambs and the ram lambs. So yeah, it's been a really fantastic day. Excellent, so so far, good day, good show so far. First time I've been here and it's been brilliant. Excellent, whereabouts are you for the rest of the, rest um, of the summer? Um, going to be probably down at Cornwall as well. Right. Um, and then maybe a few local shows down, down probably around Devon. Devon Excellent. Cornwall. Okay, well right. thanks very much for your thanks time. So much. Enjoy the rest of the summer and Lovely. well done today. Thank you. Thank you very much.